So on the new docu-series, Hillary, Bill Clinton gives his perspective on the most notorious episode of his presidency, his affair with Monica Lewinsky. Take a look. Everybody's life has pressures and disappointments and terrors, fears of whatever. Things I did to manage my anxieties for years. I feel terrible about the fact that Monica Lewinsky's life was defined by it, unfairly, I think. You know, over the years, I've watched her trying to get a normal life back again. Sad. Yeah, that is it's sad tough. Monica. Yeah. And, but it's also, you know, the other person who it's defined <clears throat> has been Hillary. Mm -hmm. You know, because people, you know, were still so angry at her. Remember, they were saying, Staying. you know, she stayed with her <laughs> husband, so we're mad at her for that. But, but you know, they, they, nobody came out on top. It's true. In this. There aren't winners in no, that, for no. sure. And it's kind of like the glass houses thing. I think the second you say, how could someone do this, until you've walked in their own shoes, I don't yeah. think you understand. Yeah. And I have a totally different opinion of marriage now that I am, like the struggles that you run into right. and the challenges you reach. And I used to think Sunny was great. Some of the things she'd say about marriage. And mm -hmm. then I'm like, you're so right. Like, I changed some of my opinions based right. on living the struggles. But I do think there was a loser. And I, I my heart breaks for Monica Lewinsky because yeah. you talk about misogyny and the, li the land we live in. I don't My heart breaks for the United States of America because Hillary should have been president. And don't think that that whole affair didn't play into her It definitely winning. did. It definitely played yeah, into it. Yeah, that's who I feel but, sorry but for. But the point is that I don't think, I, pr I think Bill probably regrets it. I think it's hurt Hillary. But sadly, Monica Lewinsky was a pariah. And she yeah. was treated yeah. awful. And she was bullied. And she's, she was a young girl that made a bad decision. How many of us haven't made a dis bad decision? She never could come back from it. But he said and that he did so it to, release, to relieve anxiety. He said to really what, whatever happened to Xanax? <laughs> you know, I was thinking what whatever happened to the three thoughts. M's, and you know what they are. I think it yeah. wasn't the pressures of the office, it was the power of the office. Because I, yeah. I think that oh. presidential power probably is intoxicating, and I yeah. think people do things just because they can, and that was a different time in his but life. But he, he said to relieve but stress, they... you don't try, do something to relieve you stress. You do yoga. That's going to cause, cause more stress. Men don't that's always what think down the road. If, if There's a, a, an immediate gratification versus But he's uh, not just delayed. a man. He's a president of the United States. But if you he needed to think twice about what he did. And he's sorry, and I, I appreciate Maybe three or four that times. he's very sorry for it, and he's sorry about what happened to Monica. And he had to tell his daughter that must have been very painful for him. Well, there's a really interesting but, documentary that came out, I think, last year, and it was about the Monica Lewinsky scandal and uh, Bill Clinton Monica Lewinsky scandal. And you hear her take on it. And the, I had no idea the things she went through when it happened. Like, she was at the mall trying to get lunch with her friends, and she was literally, like, taken into custody by the police. And she was, like, scared and didn't know what was going on. And she had to find a lawyer. And you, she retells the story about how her life was just totally ruined and, and ambushed. And I actually think I follow her on Twitter. and. <laughs> I follow her work that she does now, and I actually think she's a really interesting voice and anti-bullying advocate, and I, I like the person she has become, yeah. but it's not without these horrible struggles. And I do think the Me Too movement never seems to hit Bill Clinton. And again, he yes, got oral yes, sex from an intern who was 21. And I, I don't know. I think that he gets a lot of passes in the Democratic Party. And when you go back and reread the way some people covered him, like Tina Brown and um, I believe Maureen Dowd, they yes, said true. the fact that he had an affair is so it makes him sexier. And I think it's another example of like the patriarchy about how it, it didn't seem to hit him. Hillary Clinton just said last night on um, oh, it, excuse me, your Watch What Happens Live that uh, it's amazing the amount of people that would blame her yes. and say, "But I'm still a fan of your husband." Yeah. So don't think there's not a total double standard yeah, for men. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about with yeah. sexism and misogyny in this country. Yeah. But when there that news broke, look back at the eyes you were viewing it from because when I look back on when that was happening and what I saw then versus what I see now, it's very different. Yeah. It's a very different time. That's over 20 years ago. Well, look at what Trump gets yeah. away with. My God, compared to that, it's unbelievable. Mm -hmm. I mean, I don't. Trump, to my knowledge, hasn't received oral sex in the Oval Office. And I do think there's a, still a big difference between, like, the desecration of our White House. And it, to me, it was the beginning of the end of I, a lot of things. I hate to say this, this but the, the desecration of the White House began long With before. Trump. No, no, oh, before no. Trump. It, it, it began long before Bill Clinton. I mean, you have the Kennedy years. You have, you yeah. know, yeah. this. Oh, yeah. Listen, cool there's, nobody comes out on top in this. But nobody comes out there's been some really good presidents well. who have not cheated there on their wives. There have been great presidents, but we're talking about Bill Clinton right now because the effect of you know all of the people who we don't talk about like the uh, what is the woman who was 
posing as her friend. Oh, the blue oh, dress Linda woman. Tripp. The, Linda, Linda Tripp. Tripp. You know, Linda there Tripp. are all these people that are involved here who have gone on quietly with their lives. You know, who maybe should have had to take care of a lot more stuff, yeah. setting her up yeah, as they did. Her. A report. I the mean, it's just a whole thing. It's just, it's a crappy situation, and nobody comes out well. 